And welcome back. New Super Review continues. Uh, on day breakfast, let's close, cross over to Thika Highway. Kimani Bogwa is standing by with the latest update. Uh, with the traffic there, Kimani, good morning. Not a happy night for you and I are here for Liverpool, but we'll still bounce back. Yeah, yeah, we do. Like in, in two weeks, 11th December. I honestly am not looking forward to that day. I think there, there was so much adrenaline even yesterday. I barely slept. But well, we'll see, we'll see. We'll take on, we'll take on Napoli and move on with this thing like we always do. Well, uh, think about guys. This, uh, these are the scenes from uh, your roads. This is how it's looking this morning. I have to say it's, uh, it's, be it's, it's beginning to ease up so the traffic situation on Thika Road is not, this one is not expected to last long. By the time we, we got here, uh, the traffic was starting. Let me show you where it was starting at. Just over there at Mountain Moor, uh, just on your way to Garden City. You can see that stretch where we're zooming in right now. Uh, that stretch, you see that stretch between Garden City coming all the way to the exit at Alsops there. That is where it was starting, you know, parking all the way up to past Garden City. But now you can see that it's easing up. It's starting to ease up from behind. It, it now that means uh, that things are looking easy on uh, just ahead of us. Uh, remember this traffic over here, as I always say, this traffic over here is caused by the pedestrian crossing at Badare. This, that one is responsible for this traffic here. The one past uh, Ut Utali College is usually caused by the road being narrow at Pangani. So this is something uh, we have to bear with. Kenha are building that uh, bridge over there. It's, but it's taking way too long. It's taken uh, almost six months for it to be constructed. Still, we haven't seen anything. The last link we did here, we did from over there. Remember when that guy from, uh, from, a, tank, from a tanker was shouting at us? That is when we did uh, the link over there and it's still that bridge hasn't been built. So they're supposed to build a bridge over there to make it easy for the cars on the road because the pedestrian crossing in the middle of the highway causes this traffic going way back. Uh, but that is something now we, we, we ha we're not very sure what is happening over there with Kenha, but we're, we're going to be following up and see whether you guys of Thicker Road can have some easy traffic on that, on that front. Uh, but again, just want to remind you that getting into this festive season, it's the last week of November, it's 29th. Uh, the police are not, going, are, are not going on leave, so be very alert when you're on the roads. Yesterday, I remember my Uber driver got arrested and I had to change. And uh, the reason why they got arrested is because of using the wrong lane at a roundabout. So those are things they're looking, for, uh, they're looking out for. Be very careful when you're on the roads. Make sure you're following all the rules. Make sure you have all the necessary documents. If you don't, uh, it's a risk. Uh, of getting arrested and getting the inconvenience of being, uh, you know, taken to a police station. But that's how it looks from uh, Thika Road right now, this morning, Hussein and your panel. Well, long night for us, but I hope uh, definitely we're going to bounce back. What do you feel, Hussein? You, th you think we're going to bounce back against Napoli? We will, definitely. Always big nights. Big nights at Anfield in the Champions League. Uh, Kimani will we'll bounce back, no doubt about it. But be careful not to tell drivers just to follow. Uh, the rules so that they are not arrested. It should be for the good of all of us, isn't it? Road safety. <laughs> Thank you, Kimani. We'll talk to you <laughs> later on. I'm sure you'll have a response.